We have now completed the project and it's time to create our final invoice. To do this we need to close our project. I will call up the toolbox by clicking on my spacebar. In my toolbox I go to my projects tab and I will find my job and open it. And here we will also close it by clicking here. But before you close the project, in case you're using time reporting, it's very important that all bookings have been time reported. So now to close the project, you just click here and you have closed it. And then we click OK. I will remove my toolbox again by clicking on the spacebar and we go into the invoice creator. And we will find our job here on the left hand side in for the closed projects and done media orders. To create the invoice, mark the project and click on the menu and select create invoices and confirm creating new invoices. We will now have a warning because we have already created a prepayment invoice and the part invoice. So it says warning an invoice has already been created for this source. Confirm creating a new invoice since this could result in double invoicing. And it's also giving me the numbers of the invoices that we had previously created and placed in the invoice manager. So I click confirm and we had the prepayment invoice. Now that we create our final invoice, we want to subtract this value from the invoice that we're creating. So I will say OK. And I will confirm to create the invoice. And here now I have my final invoice. If I open it up, you will also see how the prepayment invoice is subtracted. So here are all the remaining lines that have not yet been invoiced, minus the prepayment with the total and the total with tax. And to print it out, we just click here on this icon, select our template, and you will find the printable version here. So click OK and OK. To create the formal invoice from this, we move it to the manager. Move to the manager. Confirm move. And now we go into our invoice manager and now we can search for all the invoices belonging to this project. The post. And here I have my invoices that belong to the post job. So they have the invoice number three, four and five all together. 